This video will demonstrate the installation process of Soli's 215-255 kehv 5G string inverter series. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please, read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. More than 700 mm space shall be reserved around the inverter. After determining the installation position of the mounting bracket, use the fixing bolts included in the box to fix the mounting bracket to the mounting frame. Use a 17 mm socket to tighten the nut with torque of 30 to 35 Nm. The four corners of the mounting bracket need to be fixed with bolts. Mounting handrails are included in the box. You can screw them to the inverter for easy handling. Align the hook on the back of the inverter with the hole on the top of the back plate. When using cranes and other equipment to assist in hanging, you can pass the rope into the small hole on the top of the inverter. To facilitate the lifting of the inverter, screw the fixing screws included in the package into the inverter fixing holes at the bottom. There are holes on both sides of the base for fixing screws. Cable connection. The inverter is designed with body grounding and AC grounding at the same time. To ensure safety, be sure to use two grounding methods at the same time. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the PV voltage of the DC input. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Soli's demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When connecting DC cables, they should be connected in order according to the serial number marked on the body. AC side connection. Before connecting the AC cable, loosen the screws on the side of the AC junction box. Open the AC junction box. Cut the bottom sealing rubber to pass the cable through. According to the wire diameter of the AC cable, select the matching protective coil. The AC junction box is marked with the L1L33 phase number and the recommended torque when tightening the screws. The AC cable can be used after crimping the OT terminal. Connect the AC cable to the terminal. The inverter supports automatic phase sequence recognition. No need to worry about the wrong sequence. Tighten the nut. To ensure safety, please connect the ground wire in the AC junction box. Close the junction box and tighten the screws on the junction box. Communication connection. If you choose Jin Long Soli's data logger, please connect it to the COM1 port on the bottom of the inverter. You can also choose PLC method or RS485 daisy chain to configure the monitoring system. When using RS485 connection, you need to connect the communication line to the RS485 connection port on the bottom of the inverter. Before connecting, you need to complete the connection between the two core terminal and the accessory in the cable. Unscrew the RS485 terminal cover at the bottom of the inverter to connect the prepared cable. Cable connection finishes. Power on debugging. Please, visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. 
You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker first. Then, close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. After the self-check is complete, the screen will show waiting. After the local mandatory delay ends, the inverter will start normal operation. After watching this video, please refer to the product manual for full installation instructions.